US and Japan deployed ballistic missiles at China border after its conflict with India. As the world is still battling the coronavirus crisis, COVID's origin China, which is accused of not being truthful about various facets of the pandemic's outbreak on its shores, but nonetheless appears to have overcome the crisis for the time being, is also now accused of trying expand its territory in accordance with the well-documented expansionist mindset of the Chinese Communist Party. China has already fueled up the tensions with India along the line of actual control, lack, after the Galwan Valley incident of June 15. According to media reports, China, in addition to its history sheeter activities in the South China Sea, it also looking to seize areas of Japan and Taiwan. Japan is increasing its air defense. However, to respond to the Dragon, Japan has deployed its missiles towards its border facing China and has also increased the strength of its army, according to a report in Asia News. It said that in view of China's war intentions, Japan is increasing its air defense. The island nation will implement the Patriot Pac-3 MSE air defense missile system deployment at four military bases by June this year. U.S. Japan News has cited that Pac-3 MSE is capable of countering any hit to kill. The current Patriot Pac-3 deployed in Japan has a maximum range of 70 kilometers and has been increased to 100 kilometers Pac-3 MSE. Lockheed Martin signed a $944 million contract to deliver Patriot Advanced Capability 3 and Pac-3 missile segment enhancement missiles to the U.S. and allied countries. According to the report, the upgraded Pac-3 MSE increases its firepower as well as increases its height and performance. The Pac-3 MSE is a high-velocity interceptor that detects incoming threats in advance. This includes tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and aircraft, armed forces get extended financial powers. Meanwhile, in a major boost to Indian armed forces, the center on Sunday gave the three defense forces financial powers up to Rs 500 crore per project for the acquisition of critical ammunition required in case an all-outer limited conflict breaks out, according to Ani. This move has been taken in amid the Galwin Valley face-off, where 20 soldiers were martyred. Similar financial powers were given to the armed forces after the Uri attack and the Balakat aerial strikes against Pakistan. The vice chiefs of the three services have been given the financial powers up to Rs 500 crore per project to acquire the required weapon systems under fast-track procedures needed to fill whatever shortcomings or requirement is felt, a senior government official told Ani. which first gained fame when launched in massed strikes during the 1991 Gulf War, has been carried on U.S. warships and used to attack land targets in recent decades. The Marines would test fire the cruise missile through 2022, with the aim of making it operational the following year, top Pentagon commanders testified. At first, a relatively small number of land-based cruise missiles will not change the balance of power. But such a shift would send a strong political signal that Washington is preparing to compete with China's massive arsenal, according to senior U.S. and other Western strategists. Longer term, bigger numbers of these weapons combined with similar Japanese and Taiwanese missiles would pose a serious threat to Chinese forces, they say. The biggest immediate threat to the PLA comes from new long-range anti-ship missiles now entering service with U.S. Navy and Air Force strike aircraft. The Americans are coming back strongly, said Ross Babbage, a former senior Australian government defense official and now a non-resident fellow at the Washington-based Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments, a security research group. By 2024 or 2025 there is a serious risk for the PLA that their military developments will be obsolete. A Chinese military spokesman, senior Colonel Wu Qian, warned last October that Beijing would not stand by if Washington deployed land-based long-range missiles in the Asia-Pacific region. China's foreign ministry accused the United States of sticking to its Cold War mentality and constantly increasing military deployment in the region. 
Recently, the United States has gotten worse, stepping up its pursuit of a so-called Indo-Pacific strategy that seeks to deploy new weapons, including ground-launched intermediate-range missiles, in the Asia-Pacific region, the ministry said in a statement. China firmly opposes that. China has created warlike conditions not only in India, but against its other neighbors. In addition to the South China Sea, it is also engaged in seizing areas of Japan and Taiwan. However, to respond to his intentions, India as well as Japan have created a mood. In addition to deploying its missile towards the border with China, Japan has also increased the number of army. In view of China's war intentions, Japan is increasing its air defense. It will implement the Patriot Pak-3 MSE air defense missile system deployment at four military bases by June this year. U.S. Japan News has cited that Pak-3 MSE is capable of countering any hit to kill. The current Patriot Pak-3 deployed in Japan has a maximum range of 70 kilometers and has been increased to 100 kilometers in the new version of the Pak-3 MSE. In December 2017, Lockheed Martin signed a $944 million contract to deliver Patriot Advanced Capability 3 and Pak-3 missile segment enhancement missiles to the U.S. and allied countries. The upgraded Pak-3 MSE increases its firepower as well as increases its height and performance. The Pak-3 MSE is a high-velocity interceptor that detects incoming threats in advance. This includes tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and aircraft. The missile uses hit-to-kill technology, which detects threats through kinetic energy.